guys and welcome back to the Grace Games channel. Today I want to show you the new Steel Hunt mode. You may have noticed with the new patch that's just come in, the Domination mode has gone now and it's been replaced with the new Steel Hunt mode. I'm really excited about it and I've really enjoyed playing today. In fact, I've enjoyed playing over the whole weekend. I just can't get enough of it. But I also kind of miss the old Domination mode as well because some of you may have seen my review of that and I absolutely loved it. So you may notice that you've got five new tier 10s in your garage, um, you can only play them in the steel hunt mode, not in randoms at all. You've got the bat trap 25T, which is obviously a bit of a notorious autoloader, um, I mean it's very good, very good, very light armour, very fast, you know, you probably heard of the bat trap already. The leopard 1, which is uh, again uh, quite popular, it's got a little more armour a little slower and it's around 400 450 damage a shot so again a very powerful tank the t57 heavy i think this is another one that's a bit slightly notorious um i personally see a lot of these in random battles and i'm sure i'll see a lot of them in this mode too just because they're such powerful auto loaders that can really destroy any vehicle and don't really have any trouble with penetration either um the only thing they do have trouble with is their armor they're very lightly armored so yeah you might want to consider that if you're considering choosing the t57 heavy tank you have the IS-7, and of course that's a heavy, so you're looking at something slightly lower, slight, um, slightly, not slightly lower, slightly heavier, slightly longer reload, um, you're going to go a bit slower, uh, you've got to consider those sort of things if you're considering the IS-7, and finally the Object 268. Now the Object 268, I have been dying to play in random battles. Um, in this mode, I am not so sure, because it is a TD, it doesn't have a turret, and I think that could be a bit of a disadvantage, but you know, we'll see. We don't know. I'm judging it too soon, perhaps. Um, and that, that's probably the only one that I haven't had to go in yet. That much. I mean, I've had a, probably one go in it, but I've not played it as much as the others this weekend. Um, so I'm going to get straight into a battle, and I'll probably talk more about the mode then. So here I am on the map, the new map, and um, you may notice that I'm all alone. I'm completely got no allies with me, and it really is a case of top dog. You have to come out on top with this game, and you are everyone is your enemy. And I found it a bit odd at first, a bit strange, and it almost felt lonely while I was playing. Um, but now I'm starting to get the hang of it. I really like it, and I think it's a great way for those people who are quite good players. I am not, but those people who are, you know, unicorn players, to actually find something that challenges them a bit. Um, so I think in that sense it's really good, probably a bit better than Domination in that sense. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk and play, which is going to be quite tricky because I can't seem to do both at the same time, but I'll give it my best shot. So I'm going to go around the outside, I don't want to get spotted straight away. Oh gosh, there's a cheeky cheeky leopard. Ah, I can't drive, what am I doing? Oh, we're going to be equally matched, aren't we? Because we're both on quite full health. This is going to go badly for me. Especially if he's a better player than me. i just got to hope he can outrun his gun. Haha. <laughs> no one's going to help you, see? This is the thing. You're all alone. No one's going to help you. You're, and that is one of the things that's just so hard. Because I do rely on my teammates at times. Especially with being not that good a player. I mean, I'm okay, but... I do rely on my teammates a, a fair amount. So... Yeah, that's one of the things that's really hard. So you get a point for killing somebody like I did there, and you get a point for doing a thousand damage. So I've done around a thousand hundred and fifty now, so I've got two points. And when I go over the two thousand mark, I'll be awarded another point. If I'd done auto load, I'd probably be load right about now, but I'm pretty good to go. Uh oh, a back chat. I do not want to really play with that right now. He is on a lot of health, and he's very quick, and he's just going to come towards me. No, 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 no! Don't do it! Don't do it, Mr. Back chat. I'm not going to survive this. And I didn't survive this. <laughs> so I'm just going to jump into my next chunk. This time I'm going to go for the bat chat. And see how that goes. This is a great thing. You can always choose another vehicle. And I think in the same way as Domination, you don't have to feel miserable for very long. If you're having a bad day, you can just come on and play. Jump in another tank. And off you go. So in that sense, it's very good. I think... It's got something, it really has got something for everyone because it just keeps you keeps you going and every time you pick a new tank it gives you a sort of a, a fresh feeling. It feels like you're almost playing a brand new game. And at the top there you can see that I'm on three points now and um, the person who's in the lead with the most points has got five. So it sort of gives you something to aspire to there, although you don't know what that person might be like. I mean they could be like a unicorn player and you're never going to catch them, you just don't know. Like, you've just got to hope that they're, you've got a chance of beating them. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing terrible now. I'm going to have to reload and this guy's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, why? No! Oh, bat chat, man. That was bad. 
I'm rubbish in the back chat. I think it's because I don't own any tier tens myself. It's such a great opportunity to try them out. Um, and as you can see, I really am trying them out right now. I'm trying like every single one. Um, it's a great opportunity to try out tanks you wouldn't normally play. And of course, you do get to keep the crews after as well. So in that sense, it's good. Because I hope to be able to play some of these tanks in random battles one day. And so it gives me good practice for them then. But at the same time, there's probably loads of people on this game who have the bat chat all the time in their random battles. And they're probably much better in it than I am. So it kind of works both ways. It's yeah it's sort of like they're always going to have the advantage if they've had a go at it in it before um but yeah that's just 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 one of them things oh why would that be a critical hit i really wanted to kill that guy there we go that's him destroyed it's kind of good to team kill like a boss in this game to be honest because you get a point for every single vehicle you kill and, and you have to do a whole thousand damage to get one point it's just kind of better just to destroy 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 as much as you can all right this tank was not as quick as I expected. I'm going to get up here and I'm going to kill that leopard. I'm certain of it. Ish. Let's kill him, let's kill him, let's kill him. Yeah. Oh, he does not seem happy about that. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mr. Leopard. Can I get you? Maybe if I aim for about a million years. Yeah. Oh, no. That wasn't me that killed him. Oh, what a shame. Now I have to reload, and of course the backchat turns up. This is just so typical, damn it. <laughs> why? Why would he choose now? Why? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to fail. I'm going to die. This is just a massive, massive fail. <laughs> Even after a few games, I've been playing like most of the day, and I'm still rubbish. <laughs> so you can see that is really similar to the domination mode, in that you get play a different tank once you die but other than that there's not much there's not many similarities i mean obviously you can convert to free xp at the end just same as the domination and things like that and you can obviously train your crews so in, in that sense it is basically very similar to domination but the actual game itself is very dissimilar because you're playing basically as alone whereas i found domination to be the ultimate team game um, you were doing everything for your team. This is very much you're doing everything for you. I'm going to go for the... Um, I might as well show you the IS-7, you know. I might as well go for all of them and show you every single one, even though a huge part of me wants to choose the Leopard right now, because I think that's my favourite one. So I'm on six points. I'm clearly not doing the best, am I? Um, the other guy, the top dog guy, is on 11, so I reckon he's going to get to 20 before we know it. He's really, really zooming along. Uh oh, who's that? Who's that? Oh, I lie. Oh, I managed to bounce a shot there. That was pretty good. I did not expect that. And he missed one. Come on, run out of ammo, please. <laughs> Obviously, you can go to the repair bit in the centre. I forgot to mention that. I mean, I haven't because I just keep dying. Um, but you can do it if you want to. And yeah, it's really good. It takes about five seconds and you're back to full health. And if you're an auto loader, then it's just amazing in every single way because you can get your whole clip uh, to regenerate. No, Mr. T757 Heavy, you're not going to kill me. You're not going to kill me. I'm not having it. I'm not, I'm not letting it happen. It's not happening. I refuse to accept. Angle, angle, angle. I think he's reloading. I mean, he would have shot by now, right? They have got really low armor of T57 Heavies. So it's just... Like, it is evenly matched. All of these tanks, all of these five, they are evenly matched. Even the object with its no turret. It does like a thousand damage at a time or something like that when you hit, get a shot. So they are all superbly matched. Um, where'd that bat track come from? Jeez. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't feel like it. When an auto loads and loading into you think, oh, how unfair. But it's not. They are, they are all evenly matched. Oh, I really need to, like, get out of here because that bat track's going to come back. No, do not do this, IS-7. Do not do this. You must accept death like a good IS-7. Yes, that's it. I'm on 10 points now. It's 10 and 14 for the leader. I'm like fourth in the listing. This is like one of the best games I've had. I think I'm going to go up here now. Where is that guy? Ah, hello, Mr. T57 Heavy. I don't really want to play with you, but... Obviously, you can use premium consumables. You can use gold ammo. You can do anything you want. But if you do those things, you're not going to make much money in the game. So I guess there'll always be people out there who win, spend their own money, and get gold ammo and stuff. I am not one of those people. I like to spend the bare minimum, so I won't be doing that. 
Also, you can do an artillery strike. I'll show you in a second. By pressing number seven, you can do an artillery strike. So if you're quite close to an enemy, uh, I mean, it's probably not the best time to do it right now. But you get the idea. You can do an artillery strike, and yeah, I might have killed him. So that's quite good. You just—it's like one artillery shell, basically. Um, but once you've used it, it's gone, and that's that. But it is one artillery shell, and it can be extremely accurate, and it can be extremely good. But yeah, I, I don't find that I use it as much as I thought I would. At first, I was like, yes, an artillery shell, an artillery fire, and a heavy tank. Yes, I'm using it, um, or a light tank, or any tank. I'm like, yes, I want to use that. But I find that it's not not great you know it's, it's okay it's okay but I don't use it enough hello mr. back chat oh damn it why did I track you ah uh, I keep forgetting him in the object it's not good to forget you're in the object it's got the world's longest reload <laughs> well it certainly feels like it when you've got things like back chats coming at you yeah, he's gonna die. But now there's another bat chat. Why? Why? I think they're all heading into there just because you can reload the clip in like five seconds. Which makes it. It means it's got a humongous amount of damage it can do in a minute. Let me know what you think of this in new mode in the comments. I mean, do you prefer it to domination? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I do like it a lot, but I don't know if I prefer it to domination. Because I was a huge fan of domination. There's too many enemies. I literally don't know what to choose first. Oh, and that was a low roll, wasn't it? Come on, ram me. Ram me. Come on, you know you wanna. Ah, <laughs> oh, he didn't wanna. <laughs> Is he normally I don't do live commentary, so you don't get to hear hear these bits. You don't get to hear me raging at the screen or whatever. <laughs> oh, now all the enemies are coming at me. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why? It's like kill Grace Day. <laughs> Turn. Turn, come on, I can get one more kill out of this. I can. I can get one more kill this game. I am determined. It is happening. Turn, 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 turn. Boom. Oh. Duh. How typical. Come on, Batchat, ram me. You know you wanna. And we have a winner, and it isn't me. I didn't really expect to win anyway. So it was a defeat for me. Obviously, there's only one winner. There can never only ever be one winner. As usual, see how much damage you've done down here, or you can um, go to a particular vehicle. So you could say, "Oh well, I've done, you know, I've hit only three vehicles in that a leopard." But when I was playing the T57 Heavy, I hit six vehicles. So you could say, "Oh, I need to use the T57 Heavy more." You know, if you're a fan of stats and stuff, that might interest you. But for me, I kind of just want to see how much I've done in total. You, as usual, team scores there. I got 13 points, six kills, and around 10,000 damage. Um, technically, you could do like a thousand damage. And you could still win because you know you could do 20 damage and still win it's all about the kills really i think more than the damage the damage is good but i think the way to win is to get loads of kills if i'm honest did tell report you see how much profit you made i made around six thousand then you can narrow it down you could say oh well t57 is making me a thousand you know the leopard's making me two thousand and the bat chart's making me one they're all about the same but i made slightly more from the leopard maybe i'll play that more again if you're a fan of statistics you might like that and again you can see how much how many shots you fired all of that um, I made around 6,000 profit and I feel like that's not enough. I feel like that was a pretty decent game for me. At some point there I was like 4th in the listing. Maybe I came like 5th fifth, fifth in the listing. Something like that. Um, I think I came around 4th or 5th. Let me just check that again. I was much lower down at the end. Yeah, I was lower than 5th. I was like 7th. But at one point I was like 4th in the listing doing really well. And I really don't think that's bad for someone like me who's an average player. Um... So I feel like that's a bit unfair, because there's only one winner as well. You, c you can't always be the winner. You're not ever going to be the winner, really. You're going to be a winner like one in ten times if you're an average player like me. So I feel like you're not making much profit off this. I mean, it's great. It's fun. You're making a bit of silver, but it's not going to be something you can use when you grind in to get a tier 10 saying you really want some extra silver that's not going to be what you want it's good for sp good for converting that sp if you prefer to use gold but in terms of silver no not a good thing so yeah i think i've covered it and i think it's a great fun mode just like domination i found that fun too i think it, i think i'll probably use it a lot i can't wait to train up some of these crews and obviously get to keep them at the end so that's brilliant um but yeah i don't know i don't know i mean, i think it's i think it's really really brilliant but i really hope they change the economy of it so you can make a bit more silver per game because i really think if i made around twenty thousand a time or maybe even like fifteen thousand a time i'd feel even more inclined to play so i hope they do change the economy of it a bit anyway that's about
about it for now so do let me know what you think is it better than domination what do you think i don't mind either way i think it probably is about the same for me um but yeah let me know thanks for watching bye